Hey everybody, so we're back and uh, Mother Nature has really messed with us for today. We were going to end up working on the axles. We we're going to clean those up and try to get them on the frame, but that doesn't seem like it's going to happen with this weather. So instead, we're going to go ahead and push that aside and get to the block. We'd like to go ahead and empty out the oil, lighten her up so we can go ahead and throw her on an engine stand a little bit higher up so we can actually clean up the grease off of it and the paint. Maybe pull some components off, paint them separately, so on and so forth. Drop the pan, check out what exactly is going on because I ended up getting this motor. I trust the fellow I got it from. It seemed to be running great videos, but who knows, he might not have noticed something that messed up in the bottom end or something like that. We may have to go deeper into it. I hope not. I'm pretty sure it won't be, but you never know. Um, also, we're going to end up going with some uh, different valve covers, so we may end up cleaning those up and painting those. Uh, the paint we're going to go with, we may have to do that in two different stages. That It claimed that it needed to go over clear instead of just by itself to get a good primer. So hopefully that will end up being a good, easy fix. Um, I think that's about it. So we're going to go ahead and hop up on it. If anything ends up coming up further than that, we'll end up jumping on that and showing you what else in the middle of the video. So check it out. Let's see what we got going on. Hey guys, so we've got ahead and um, we pulled the pan off, pulled the water pump off, pulled the pulleys off of it so we can get a better straight up close and uh, try and clean it up so we can paint it. Once we got in here, the pan's pretty gunky so we got to clean that out really good. But the block actually looks really well rebuilt. It's been boiled over so it's a 355. But there's definitely a little bit of rust where it had water in it. Um, there's a lot of cleaning we're going to have to do where they had the old gasket. I guess they didn't clean it but so good before they put the gasket on there, but we're going to go ahead and clean it up real, real nice so we have a proper seal because we had a little bit of a leak up front. All right, so we're going to go ahead, we're going to clean it up, get it ready to prep the paint, and uh, hopefully we'll have a pretty little block going on here. So let's check it out. shower cap on the 350 it's ready to go <laughs> now we got this thing all taped up ready to go everything's pretty much sanded down ready to accept some paint got some grit to stick to pretty much it greased it as well as we could all the nooks and crannies you know you're not gonna get everything so we got it as good as we could like I said we shower capped it hopefully that pans out we don't have to worry about all the stuff up on top and messing up the intake 
If so, just wire brush it down later. But uh, pretty much, hopefully we're gonna go ahead and spray it with silver first, let that dry a little bit, and this purple's supposed to go over it and look like kind of like anodized aluminum. So hopefully that pans out and looks awesome next to this champagne tan that the Jeep is. And uh, let's go ahead and get started, see what we can do. Hey guys, it's the next day. I don't know if you can hear it, but she seems to be curing pretty good. <laughs> yeah. We went ahead, we got done sanding down the block. Everything turned out pretty good and smooth. We went ahead and sprayed it. Um, we ended up having to re-sand the oil pan and actually put a primer on it because it just it ran all the crap since it's so smooth. So we ended up sanding that down a lot more than what we would have. And uh, she's turning out pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and let that cure for about a week. And uh, today's project, what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna get on the axles and try and sandblast them. We picked up some finer grain grit type of uh, abrasive. And hopefully that ends up peeling the paint right on off the axles and we can spray some pour on that. So hopefully when we get that done today, we'll see what we can get. Check it out, we'll be around. Check it out you guys, so we managed to get the axles sandblasted, they're looking pretty good. They were pretty nasty before, but Brent's done a pretty good job here of getting all the nasty rime and grust off of these. Uh, a few things to note, uh, after we spray these with Pour 15, this is going to be replaced, we're going to replace the discs, we're going to do a brake job as well. So we're just going to spray over that, but it's getting late on us. So we're going to set these off to the side and the first thing in the morning we'll come out here and spray these. So till tomorrow. What's going on guys? It's the next day. Brent got an early start this morning. He already started masking everything off on the old axles here. He's got a good jump on things. We got all our poor stuff sitting off to the side here. So we can go ahead and start mixing stuff. Start spraying the axles. It'll be a quick one today. The sun's not blaring down on us so it's nice and cool. So let's get our paint gun out, our coveralls on, let's get to spraying. going on guys so we're back went ahead we've got the bottom coat sprayed it's looking real nice real shiny we're gonna let that cure for probably about four or five hours and then we're gonna come back over the top coat as a hardener but in the process we ended up finding that the shocks might as well just go ahead and go with some new ones we got one that's bad and don't feel like painting that on the end so we're gonna go ahead get that get back on here and start uh painting so check it out we got some more to come
All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Unfortunately, I had to leave Brent, so I didn't get to film the axles once they completely dried, but you'll see them in the next video of us working on the old TJ. So I do have a lot of stuff coming about. I still need to find some more parts for the RX-8 so I can continue working on that. I'm still waiting on parts from Andy at AP Motor Arts to work on the FC07 to finish that build. I do have another build in the background. I'll be starting on that before too long, so I'll do a quick video introducing that build. It should be a quick one. Pretty simple daily driver type of build, if you will. And I really appreciate y'all watching the videos. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, throw any comments you have down below. And as always, thanks for watching.